In this problem, we need to find all solutions to this simple little equation here. And the answers need to be in degrees. And I, my answers need to be between 0 and 360 degrees. So we know the sine of theta is 0 0.85. Well, 0 0.85 is not a value on the unit circle. So we're going to have to use our calculator. And theta is going to be found using the inverse sine function of 0 0.85. So let's get our calculator and I need to turn it on. I need to check the mode. We're in degrees. So I need to do inverse sine which is up here above the sine key so I'm going to have to hit second sine. Notice I get the inverse sine function of 0 0.85 and then hit enter and I get 58.211 degrees. I need to round to the nearest tenth, that means the two. The one following does not change it, so my answer is going to be 58.2 degrees. So theta equals 58.2 degrees. So notice that the calculator only gave us one solution and it gave us an answer in quadrant 1. Why did it do that? Well remember the inverse sine function says the answer has to lie somewhere between negative pi over 2 or negative 90 and positive pi over 2 or positive 90. So since the sine in this case was a positive number it would give you an answer in quadrant 1. So here is one solution of our problem. But now we need to find if there are any other quadrants in which the sine of theta could equal 0 0.85. So remember our mnemonic, all students take calculus. All trig functions are positive in quadrant 1. Where is the sine of theta also positive? It's also positive in quadrant 2. So somehow I have to come up with a quadrant 2 angle whose sine is 0 0.85. And that's where we use reference angles. So let's look at our angle in quadrant 1. A very rough sketch of our angle here in quadrant 1. Here's my angle theta, 58.5. 2 degrees. And remember, angles in quadrant 1 are equal to their reference angle. So what I need to do is I need to find an angle over here in quadrant 2 who has the exact same reference angle. So all you have to do is draw a picture, oh, excuse my terrible drawing, of an angle in quadrant 2 Here's my angle in quadrant 2. I need to find that angle, but I know this reference angle here, sorry, also equals 58.2 degrees. So how am I going to find this angle here where this angle is 58.2 degrees? Well, it's simple. This angle plus this has to equal 180. So the angle I'm looking for in quadrant 2 is 180 minus my reference angle of 58.2 degrees. So the other solution I'm looking for is 121.8 degrees. So that is the other angle between 0 and 360 whose sine is equal to what we were given originally of 0 0.85. And if you're not sure, you can double check this at the end. So let's go back to our calculator and turn it on. And just double check it. Take the sine of 121.8 degrees and see if we get what we started out at 0 0.85 
Well, remember we rounded this number up here, so this will be approximately 0 0.85, and is it? Yes. So I have found my two solutions between 0 and 360.